Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up the rest of that Goodwill blue box, that five pounds of repurposed jewelry that I purchased from Dayton, Ohio. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we can definitely work something out. All you have to do is send me your name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email address along with the timestamps and preferably screenshots of any of the item or items that you're interested in. Um, and that is pretty much it. And shipping starts at $5 for everything under a pound. And if you go over a pound, it will be based on shipping um, shipping will be based on location and weight, and I do ship overseas, so depending on where you live, shipping will be based on location and weight as well. Okay guys, let's dive in and see what's inside this box. So this is what we had left, and as you can see, it's a lot of stuff still. So hopefully I can finish this video with, within 30 minutes or so. Um, so I'm just going to pull some things out of it. And um, let's see what else is left in this box. But I hope everyone is doing well. And uh, what did you think of the last part of this box, guys? I thought it was pretty good so far. I mean, we found the Pandora. We had um, some Italy 925 Sterling. So pretty nice. Um, this looks like a vintage type earring, very 80s. So we have one of those. Unfortunately, no matches to any of the earrings so far. So this is a stretchy bracelet. Um, does need to be restrung. A very, very pretty panel style here with the tricolor metal. If anybody's interested in that, that will be going into craft for a dollar. We have one of these here. I don't know. This is an ear cuff or nose ring, but it has like little rhinestones. I don't think these are diamonds, but you never know, right? Oops. Oh. Nope, just glass. So we have one of those. Oops, and it's magnetic. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Okay. Okay, we have an earring here. This feels cold to the touch, so I think that's glass. Oh, this is pretty, I think. This is copper. And, wow, that's very beautiful. Look at that, guys. How gorgeous that necklace is. Very, very pretty. Sort of like half moon with the etching. Very gorgeous. It's two layered, has a lobster clasp. There is no marking on this. That's gorgeous. Um, let's get a measurement on this. This one measures about 16 inches with a two inch extender. Okay, let's see what else we have here. This. this feels like a stone, cold to the touch. It's on a gold tone chain. Don't think that's gold. Let's see if this registers as anything. It's moving up slightly towards glass. It's definitely some kind of rock or stone. Um, but we have that, really cool. And this measures in at 10 inch drop. So if anybody wants that, we'll do that one for $5. We have one of these earrings here, a hoop earring. So we have this really pretty with the pearl and the rhinestones and the bow. Really beautiful silver tone necklace. 
This is not marked. But it's gorgeous. Pretty sure this is not sterling, but it's not magnetic. I don't see any markings on it. But it's beautiful. Just take a quick scratch of this and see. Hmm. I wonder if it is sterling. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Should I wait until later to test? No. No, no, no. Not sterling. Silver tone. Silver tone, but beautiful. And let's get a measurement on this. This one measures in at about 17 inches around the neck. Very beautiful. And let's do this one for, let's do this one for four dollars. That's pretty. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. a really long one. This is a very long one. Very interesting chain here. This one is Premier Designs. There is the mark. And this one is a very long chain. It has a lobster clasp. Very, very, very long. And it's a little kink there. It was a, little, it's a little stiff there, but it's not bad. Um, and this one measures in at approximately 14 inches for the drop. Really cool long necklace. And we can do this Premier Designs for four dollars. If anybody's interested in that. Okay, we have a lotus pendant here. I don't know if this belongs to something, but I'll put that off to the side. We have a really beautiful bracelet here. It's a stretchy. It looks like it's brass. And then these are... These are not registering as glass, but it's really a pretty bracelet. It's really beautiful. And this one measures in at seven and a quarter. Anybody wants that? Well, we can do this one for. Oops! <laughs> we can do this one for $2. Okay, we have one of these kids' bracelets again. That'll be a dollar if anybody wants it. Going into craft. Let's see. We have another kid's bracelet here, if I can get it out. This is a pretty earring. So far, no matches to any of the earrings we've found in this box. That's pretty, too. Okay, we have this necklace here. This one has a fish hook clasp. These look like, um, cat's eye. These are... These are faux pearls on the cat's eye. That's really pretty though. This one measures in at 16 inches around the neck. So if anybody wants this one, we can do this one for $2. That's pretty. Okay, we have one of these. Um, this might belong to something, I'm not sure. I'll put that off to the side. We have one of these earrings. Okay. Going. We have this necklace here. This one has a spring ring clasp. This is the top of it and this is the bottom of it. I don't think these are real stones. Nope. Um, but really pretty. It looks like turquoise. They're turquoise colored. Um, this one measures in at approximately 12 inch drop. It's very pretty. Okay. 
Wow, I hate this fish wire. Um, fishing wire <laughs> necklace. Um, it just causes a lot of problems with untangling things. If we can just get that out, things might be a little faster here. But let's see, let's see, let's see what we can do. interested you could fix this up so that it would look very very lovely but I'm not going to do that so it will go into craft for a dollar these are all um, plastic so that will go into craft for a dollar okay then we have one of these stretchies that's going to craft for a dollar um, and if you want any of those um, children's bracelets, I can do a good deal for you. Um, you probably could sell them all to you for $3 if nobody wants them. On this, we have another one of these bracelets that we found in necklaces that we found in the last part. And I don't, again, know if this is bone. It is cold to the touch. It has some striations on the back there. This one's marked with a J. And this one's approximately about 14 inches. And adjustable. So we have that. Let's do this one for seven dollars. Okay. Let's see, oh, we have this W. I don't know if that's Wonder Woman or is that? I think it is Wonder Woman. It says Alex and Ani Wonder Woman. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. You can make it smaller. I think you just pull it and adjust it, and then keep going like that I believe or am I making it bigger no I'm making it smaller but um, you'll have this little dangly thing here too okay what is this what is this is this broken mm. yeah I think this this is a need of repair, but the beads on here are gorgeous. I think this is a simple repair. You see the jump ring came off here. I think it just needs to be reattached right um, to here. But it's a beautiful necklace. Um, it's not marked. It has a lobster clasp like so, but it's two strands of these gorgeous um, beads here. And if anybody wants this um, not repaired, it would be a dollar going into craft. But if you want it repaired, I will charge three dollars. Let me know. So we have that. And then we have this beautiful necklace here with the gorgeous little uh, faceted teardrop. This is quartz. Yes, that is going up to quartz. That's rose quartz. And these little be beautiful little beads here. I think these are sterling. Um, it's not marked. Let's see. Nope, not sterling. Not sterling. But beautiful. Um, and this is a really pretty um, rose quartz. This one measures 16 inches and then you have a 2 inch extender. So I don't know if it's supposed to be coppery like that. But um, it's pretty just for this little uh, pendant itself. That's gorgeous. Um, we'll do this one for $3. Okay, then we have this necklace here, which has a tag. This is White House Black Market. There is some verdigris on it and some wear on the metal throughout. And you've got some bonus here. <laughs> you, and you've got all these... Um, I don't think this is quartz. Nope, not quartz, but it looks like um, quartz. And then these are like mother of pearl. I don't know if they're real or not, but we have that. And if anybody wants that, that's going to craft for a dollar. Then we have this, ooh, more bonus here. 
we have this cord here and this one is Leah Sophia it's just a faux leather cord if anybody wants that that'll be a dollar then we have this which is I think this is stone okay this one is going up towards Garnet tourmaline and iolite. Not exactly sure what it is exactly. It's definitely something and it's pretty. It's beautiful. Purple stone. Um, so it's on this adjustable um, cord. And this one measures in at 14 inch drop. So if anybody wants that, that's beautiful. Let's do this one for do that one for four dollars okay then we have a silver tone chain here okay let's keep going see what else see what else is in here okay let's take it all out I think I'm just going to dump it all it's all the smalls in here guys lots of little earrings miscellaneous pieces. Oops. Don't know what that was. But there's a lot of little little guys in here. Oh my gosh, too many little guys. Okay. We have a nut. Some of these nut shells or beads. Nut beads. I'll put that off to the side. We have this beautiful earring here. It's not marked. It's gorgeous though. I wish I could find a match to that. Okay, we have this earring which we found earlier. These are pretty and they're glass. I'll just make sure with the presidium. I'm pretty sure they're glass, but if not, yeah, they're going up towards glass. Very pretty earrings and gorgeous for the holidays. Let's do these for, let's do these for two dollars. Very pretty. Okay, we have this leather studded bracelet with these really beautiful rivets that are etched. There's a lot of wear to it, but it's in good working condition. Um, this one measures in at seven inch circumference. It's well loved. I think this is tight. Let me just make sure guys because I don't know. I mean I think the magnet on this is good. It's not really gonna flip well I don't think. It's a little bit loose. I'm not sure. But if anybody wants that we can just do that one for we'll just do this one for three dollars if anybody wants it. Okay let's see we have this earring here. Gorgeous, but missing some stones. We have binding like so. We have Birds and Blooms, limited edition 1997. Really cute. Let's do that for $2. We have this earring here, which I don't think we saw. Oh, I don't think that's sterling. Nope. Okay, we have this beautiful pendant. Not marked. Very pretty though, and we'll do that for two dollars if anybody wants that. We have this little guy, that'll be a dollar. We have this earring here. Not marked, beautiful though. We have this earring. Okay, lots of earrings here with no matches. I think this is one of those earring things, I don't know. Okay, we have that earring, we have this one, these are just little teeny tiny guys, speed, okay, we're just going to go through these, um, that's pretty, copper, that's not a stone, okay, that's pretty, we have here, oh, very beautiful enamel, and it says bird heart, Laurel birch. Pretty cool. 
I love Laurel Birch's um, cat stuff, especially, but these are two birds. That's very beautiful. I'll put a price down below for this. So that's a lovely find. Then we have this very artisan looking earring. Hope we find a match to that. One of these. I'm not sure what this is exactly. I wonder if that's sterling. I might test that later. One of these earrings. Really cute. Um, we have one of these missing a baguette there. Um, oh, we have a match to those silver earrings, silver tone earrings somewhere. We did find that um, one somewhere in here. They're very pretty nonetheless, filigree. And, um, but they are looking a little worse for wear, I think, in terms of the silver plating. But they still have some character, so they'll be a dollar if anybody wants those. Okay. Mm, let's keep going. These are cute. Hope we find a match to that. If anybody wants any of these things, they will be a dollar. Okay, this one looks like it's marked. It's a little teeny tiny guy. It says 14K. <laughs> and why is it so tiny? <laughs> but yes, I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, let me see if I can find my loop. 14K. Really pretty earring here. I think that could be a ruby. Um, let's see. Oh yes, let's bring the Persidium in. I hope we find a match to this, guys. Um, this one is... This is going up to Jadeite and Spinel. So maybe it's Spinel, pink Spinel. But I think it's 14K, guys. We will test that later. Let's put that off to the side. Hope we find a match to that. Okay, we have this. Which is going into craft. Okay, we have this beautiful earring here, this butterfly. Hope we find a match to that. We have the present earring. This one's pretty. This one is marked US patent number. It's a patent 2007 on it, on the clasp. Really unique clasp. Um, this is pretty though, sea beads. It's really beautiful. This one measures in at eight inch circumference. So if anybody wants that, we'll do that for two dollars. That's pretty. Okay. We have a lot of these stretchies. I wonder if this is a stone. Nope. Just acrylic. Oh, this pendant is gorgeous. I don't know if this came with a particular chain. Wow, this pendant's gorgeous. I love it. I'll put a price down below for this. Do some research on that guy. Okay, we have a ring. wonder if that's jade. Let's bring the Presidium in. Let's see what this is. Nope, it's nothing. <laughs> but it's pretty. And it feels cold to the touch. So if anybody wants that, let's do that one for let's do it for three dollars. Okay, let's keep going. We have one of these gorgeous AB Aurora Borealis earrings. One of those nuts. Um, this one's pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. This one's gorgeous too. Um, we have that. And if you're interested in any of these little little pieces that I'm showing, um, I can give you a price on them. Um, it'll be craft for most of them if we don't find pairs. Um, this will be a dollar going into craft. This will be a dollar going into craft as well. Okay. And we have here spring leaf. Okay, going into craft for a dollar. 
another bangle, a dollar. Um, let's see. This is pretty. Another one of those bracelets. That'll be two for a dollar. Okay. I have this earring here. I wonder if this is sterling. Could be. We test that later. Um, I have this. which is gunmetal and it has all these beautiful rings textured and shiny Let's see. it's very pretty and this one measures in at 16 inches with a two inch extender so if anybody wants this one we'll do this one for two dollars that's nice we have more of these stretchy kids bracelets that'll be a dollar then we have this little earring snowflake that is. then we have this this one looks a little worse for wear but it does have a mark it's a premier designs and it looks like it's lost a lot of its um, silver tone but i wonder if this could polish up really nicely it looks like it may um, because it uh, has a patina look to it, not so much like a silver tone loss. So this is 14 inches with a 2 inch extender. If anybody wants that and try to clean it up, let's do this one for $2. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have this, which looks like it's gold. Hmm. No marks on it not magnetic. Well, wouldn't this be cool if this is gold? Well, we will test that along with the earring that we found. This one is a moon earring. Okay, we have this earring here. Okay, let's keep going. This earring's pretty. So many pretty earrings, but no matches. Oh, this one's gorgeous, vintage, and this one was bow jewels missing so many things and this one is Germany marked Germany and we have the intaglio the reverse intaglio very beautiful has the AB on it too very gorgeous and that's the top of it and this is the bottom of it that's beautiful let's get a measurement on this one this one is it's 11 inch drop. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna put a price down below for this. Very pretty. Okay, that's a nice find. Um, we have this bangle here. These look like Swarovski crystals. Um, it's a toggle clasp. I don't know if these are, but let's see. They're not registering, but it's pretty. And this one, has a seven inch circumference. If anybody wants this, let's do this one for $2. Okay, we have one of these earrings, brass, very cool. We have this little angel. This angel is not marked. If anybody wants that, we'll do it for $2. We have a ring here. This ring is not marked. Not magnetic. Let's see if the stone is anything. Stone is not registering as anything. So I don't think that's anything. I'll put that off to the side. We have this one has a tag. It says Delta made in USA versatile. Is it versatile? It's versatile. It has missing stones there. Missing stone there. And the coating on these pearls are missing. Um, but I don't know if these are stones. It says it's very tiny. Simulated pearls. Okay. They were supposed to be simulated pearls. But um, I think they're missing all the coating on them. So we have that. If anybody wants that, we can do that for a dollar going into craft. And we have this bracelet here with the copper beads and 
very big loop, so I don't know if you can tie that in. Anybody wants that, that's a dollar. We have the stretchy here. Um, they feel like plastic, that'll be a dollar. Then we have this, a dollar. Then we have this earring here, very beautiful. I don't think we found a match to that. Then we have this, broke off, that'll be a dollar. We have this earring here, pretty, no matches. Um, this is interesting. Don't know if it's part of an earring or something. These look like stones. Um, yeah, they're registering as something. Maybe lapis or um, sodalite. But uh, beautiful. I don't know what it's a part of, but we have one of these. Some stones here. Okay. We have that. 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 Okay, this one says 925 on the back. And I don't see a marking on this, but that might be worth testing. So we'll put that off to the side too. And we have this earring here. I don't think that's sterling. Nope. Okay, then we have this earring here. And this one here, beautiful. Okay, this one, this one's all bent. This one says New Mexico Stone of Love. Is there anything in here? Nope, unfortunately nothing in here. I think we found a match to this one. Well, no, they're not matches. <laughs> They're twins. They're um, sisters, not twins. Okay, they're not a match. No matches here, guys. But a lot of crafting items. Ooh, this is pretty. This is one of those um, prayer boxes. Nothing inside. Hopefully no ashes. Um, but uh, very beautiful. This one is marked 925 right there. and Italy, right there. Very, very beautiful. And we'll definitely test that. And this one measures in at seven and a quarter inch circumference. So we will test that, very nice. Okay, we have this hammered hoop. Okay, we have this pendant, collar. This earring here, very 80s, fantastic. I don't see a match. We have this earring here, very damaged. We have this. Um, we have, okay, let's see what this is first. We have this necklace here, which looks like one of those fetish necklaces. Yeah, it has the bird. And um, the rest are just nuggets. I think these are, I don't know if they're turquoise. They look like they could be. And it's going up to garnet tourmaline and iolite. So I don't know what kind of stones these are. If you guys know, please let us know down below. But I think this is liquid silver. I don't know. It will test when I... It has um. It's magnetic. So I don't know if that's liquid silver. But it's beautiful with the beautiful bird. So we'll put a price down below for that. And this one measures in at about 16 inches around the neck. That's gorgeous. Okay, so that's a nice find. And then we have this earring here, this little earring, and then a couple more earrings here. No matches, unfortunately, so sad. Okay, but we have this bracelet here. And this is gorgeous. This one is marked. It's not marked. It's not marked at all. Oh wait, it is marked. It kind of says 925, I think, right? I'm not sure. But this is beautiful. Look at this gorgeous bracelet. 
Um, it's beautiful. Let me get the measurement on this. This one is about six and three quarters. Six and three quarters with a little extender here of about an inch. That is beautiful. And I'm pretty sure this is sterling. But we will test. So I think we're going to test what we found earlier. Um, so we found this bracelet here, this bracelet here, this earring, this 14k gold, this necklace here, as well as this piece, which I don't think it's gold, but you never know. This one says 925. This, I'm not sure if it is sterling, but um, okay guys, let's do some testing. All right, so let's get our stone out and let's do a scratch of over there first. Let's do a scratch of this bracelet here, this gorgeous bracelet. Okay, so that is this one right here. This is the prayer box. Okay, and then we have this earring here. Okay, then we have this earring here, which I think, yeah, I think that's going to be sterling, I'm not sure. And we'll test the stud as well. Okay. And then um, we'll test this, but I don't think it is, but let's see. You never know. Right? You never know. And we'll test this thing down here as well. Okay, and then we have the, which looks like liquid silver, but I don't think it's going to test as sterling. You never know. Yeah. Okay, guys, so let's test all of these and see what we have here. Okay guys, so this is definitely sterling, and um, I think I gave you the circumference on this one. This one is six and three quarters. Very, very beautiful. And I will leave the price for this down below. Gorgeous bracelet. Then we have the prayer box necklace a bracelet. Very, very beautiful. This one's sterling as well. And this one is about seven inch circumference. And I will leave a price down below for this one. And then this is, hmm, I don't think that's sterling. I'm not sure, it doesn't look blue. So I'm not sure. Um, this, this one's a little faded, so it could be silver plated, but the stud on this is definitely sterling. So that's cool. And then we had, um, I believe this, which is not coming up as sterling. And then this liquid silver piece here, it does have a lot of silver in it. So I don't know, it's kind of testing blue. So it's definitely some kind of liquid silver, I think. Okay guys, so very good. Um, so far, not bad. Okay, but let's test the gold now. The little pieces of gold we found. And actually I'm going to use a different stone here. And let's scratch this. Okay, we got a good scratch of that. And then we have this one, which was marked 14K. Okay, so we have a scratch of those. 
and let's take our fourteen K solution to it and see what happens. And if the line stays, that means we have gold on our hands. And if it disappears, it means that we do not. So it looks like this is not gold, unfortunately. That would have been nice if it was. It feels like gold, which is crazy. But this is definitely 14K, guys. We have a little bit of 14K with the, possibly a ruby spinel or a um, spinel of sorts. Okay, guys, that was that. Not bad. Um, I mean, that was a lot of craft to go through in order to find this little piece of gold. <laughs> but not bad, I guess. Um, and this part, we found this um, really pretty fetish necklace here. We found um, this gorgeous prayer box. Italy 925 bracelet. Also this gorgeous 925 gorgeous, gorgeous filigree open work flower bracelet as well. Um, this really cutesy laurel birch brooch, which was very nice. This West Germany and reverse intaglio um, necklace. That was a nice find. Um, but other than that, um, a lot of great crafting stuff. So if you guys are interested in craft, um, I may bundle up a craft bag for you guys and give you a really good price on it if um, you want whatever's left. So just reach out to me as well if you're interested in that. But yeah, guys, this was part two of my Goodwill Blue Box from Dayton, Ohio. Please let me know what you thought of this box overall. If you haven't watched part one, I will link it down below so you can check out what I found in the first part. But overall, I think this box was pretty good. A lot of sterling, um, beautiful pieces, um, some 14K gold, a little bit. A little bit is a, a lot nowadays. And um, this really beautiful vintage um, pieces too. So yeah, guys. Please make sure you're subscribed. I've lost a lot of subscribers when I was out of doing YouTube, when I stopped doing YouTube videos. But um, if you are interested and you like my content, please make sure you're subscribed so you're notified my next video. Um, so far, I'm staying on Thursday nights. I'm not sure how that's going to work out for me because I do have a full-time job. But um, if you um, are subscribed, you'll be notified of when I come on, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and most of all, guys, be well. And if you're interested in anything, please reach out to me at girlyorocks at gmail.com, and we can definitely work something out. Okay, bye-bye, be well.